David Rennie's weekly Charlemagne column in The Economist both educates and provokes those who read it. It aims to give readers a sounder grasp of the ins and outs of EU politics and policy making. He has developed a daily blog out of the column known as Charlemagne's Notebook. Europe. Charlemagne of antibiotics and globalisation. Without a crystal ball, it is impossible to predict where political trouble might strike. So Charlemagne has a suggestion. There has been much recent research into a public health problem that shares some surprisingly similar features. The overuse of antibiotics. We are all Belgians now. Europe, it is said, must resist the temptation to become a giant Switzerland, i.e. a smug, rich, insular place. But judging by the antics of European leaders as they filled two top European Union jobs on November 19th, the club faces another danger altogether, becoming a giant Belgium. What is the link between this and the selection of Herman van Rompuy as the first full-time president of the European Council and of Catherine Ashton as a new foreign policy chief?